But now she can see it clear Says she ain't got nothing good to say So she ain't gon' say nothing You ain't shit Talking to the Warriors I'm playing, I'm not Cause y'all be biased as fuck So she ain't got nothing good to say So she ain't gon' say nothing I get you wet as you can get I make it true I make it true I'm gonna just say one thing before we start this. LeBron better be playing. Please, please, LeBron, please. I, I wanna have a valid victory for my for my team. Okay, we don't win a lot. Okay, we had a okay, we had a little shriek. Don't don't count that. Alright, that was chalk. That 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 shriek was chalk. We got lucky. We got lucky. I wanna get a legitimate win here. This literally just came out 10 minutes ago. Y'all are lucky I stayed up late tonight. So because I won't be dropping this right now, but I am, because I do this for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But I guess gives us a good time to talk about both these teams. Is LeBron playing? There is LeBron James. And there's Kyrie. Okay, we're cool. Okay, so if we win. This is fair. <laughs> that other game I fucked up. I didn't know that they weren't playing and we fucking dirty balled the Cavs. I didn't know that was going to happen. I didn't know. What do you want from me? But, you know, they going to work. But, damn, that's kind of dissing. You going to not play in Miami? That's kind of, uh How do y'all feel about that? Let me know. Like, how do you feel about LeBron taking all these rest games? Like, in, in one way, I kind of understand it. Because, like, you know, he's old as shit. He's, like, 32. Well, he's not old as shit, but his body's, like... He needs the rest for the playoffs. That's all he's worried about. And I can understand that from a player's perspective. But, like, from a coaching perspective and from, like, an owner perspective, you want your superstar player to be playing every game. But, you know, I guess the coaches understand a little more that they need the rest of their best player. But, like, an owner, they want to make money. <laughs> so they want their best player. They want to sell out games. And, like, it's probably pissing off other owners and other GMs because their place isn't getting as much money because LeBron's not playing that night. Or maybe they, like, I guess you can't unsell your ticket or you just get rid of your ticket you can't just cancel it so i guess you already bought the ticket <laughs> damn that's dickheadish though you go you go to watch lebron like that's like the one thing you wanted to do and then you end up just not watching him that's fucking crazy man yeah let me know what y'all think about that and <clears throat> we just watched isaiah Tom i love Kyrie. you're such a god we just watched um isaiah thomas kind of choke and kind of not choke i thought it was a foul if you guys didn't watch it pretty much what happened was isaiah thomas was bringing the ball up, and then he just got stripped from him. I thought it looked like a blatant foul, but I guess not. And then Tyler Lewis hit a fadeaway through to win the game with, like, four seconds left. So that was on some clutch shit. Um, but I still think Isaiah Thomas is probably the, I don't know, like, fourth best point guard in the league? I would take him over Kyrie. Fourth best, let's see. Let me make my list right here for y'all. Let's make my top five point guard list for you guys. You guys can make this too in the comment section if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and say that my top five point guards is definitely Steph first. I mean, if I'm making it off talent, because who I would take, I would take Chris Paul second. I would take Chris Paul second, because someone like Chris Paul is able to create for my team so much. Ooh, whoa, 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 who got hurt? Who was that? Oh, Bogey got hurt. Oh. He said he think he broke it. Ooh, shit. Ooh, that is not good for Cleveland fans. That's not good. Y'all need him. He played like two minutes and he's done? Damn. That's rough. That's rough, man. Y'all just paid him and he gets injured the first fucking game. That's rough. Yeah, I feel bad for y'all. Damn. Damn, that's rough. Okay. Again, we don't laugh at injuries. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be like, yes, he got a Cavs injury. Now it's gonna be a fair finals. No, I'm not. I'm not fucking stupid. I'm not gonna laugh at that. But um, what were we talking about before the injury? Oh, my top five point guards, right? So yeah, I would take Chris Paul second on on the base of the fact that like he would control everything. I know Westbrook does a really good job of that. But like when Westbrook had really good players, he would still like he wouldn't make the effort to go to those guys like he wouldn't pass the ball Duran as much like he wouldn't facilitate like that like Chris Paul understands that he has two great players in Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan and he's getting the goal and, and I know you guys sometimes bring up the argument like they're not winning they like they just can't win but that team has no holes that team has no holes at, like at all they have shooters they have isolation guys they have dominant forces like Blake Griffin and DeAndre they have guards who can control the ball like Chris Paul and Austin Rivers a little bit don't 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 underrate Austin Rivers you know he kind of does his thing so Chris Paul is definitely my second guy Westbrook's probably my third, who I would take. Um, fourth, I I guess Isaiah Thomas and fifth Kyrie. Kyrie and Dame Dollar are really close. I'll tell you that. They're really close. They're both on the edge. But I take Kyrie just because he has experience now. Dame Dollar doesn't have finals experience. And then some of y'all are probably going to say, well, Chris Paul doesn't have finals experience. But Chris Paul has proven he could take, you know, he, he carries the team really much. Because I think this is a big statistic. Wow, we're up 14. Just saw that. 
All right, we're, we're, we're going to keep letting this game go on. Good shot, Kyrie. Bang, bang. But, but we're going to keep letting this game go on. But I think a big statistic I grabbed from a year ago that I learned that I thought was like, okay, I'm taking Chris Paul second over everybody, is that the fact that their offense is 28th without Chris Paul. And when they are, when he is in, they're second. Like that that switch, I don't even think that's a switch LeBron would make. That It's close. It's very close. But I don't even think that's something LeBron could do. And he shouldn't be able to, obviously, because, like, you know, he's a small forward. He's not a point guard, but he is a point guard in a way because y'all know. I try to, you know, I try to back up my info. I try to stop myself there just to give y'all both sides of it. I try to play devil's advocate with a lot of things. So just making sure y'all understand what I'm trying to say. I, I play both sides of it just to make sure y'all don't get mad at me. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> that was really easy. Are we about to win? I just got a message. My fault. But are we about to win? The bottoms. Why does he say? I don't even know what the fuck that means. If y'all know what the bottoms means, and then when the guy says, um, the Clippers guy says, bingo, <laughs> that shit's funny as hell. I'll be dead when he says that shit. Mm. Okay. And I guess you could talk about my heat team a little bit because I don't know where we're really going. I don't. We're in that mess spot because we have we we have Whiteside Ryan in his prime, but he's starting to get out. Like I think he's what 27. He's like right dead ass in his prime, and we're wasting him. We're wasting white side on this problem because we can't build around him. We don't have anything. Like, we we don't. There's really nothing we can do. We have some key pieces. Dion's Ard and, like, Justice Winslow's a really good defender. Josh Richardson kind of died down. I really thought he was going to have a breakout season this year after that playoff series against the Hornets. He was balling on the Hornets. And I don't, I don't know what happened. I guess he just didn't flourish like I wanted him to. Or maybe Dion's just getting more minutes, I guess. Allen Anderson, bang, bang. I figured out if your last name is Anderson, you can shoot. Unless you're Chris Anderson. That's the only exception. Every other Anderson. Like, think of any Anderson in the NBA. Do you know an Anderson that can't shoot threes that isn't Chris Anderson? Ryan Anderson. Allen Anderson. Um, fuck. I'm thinking of other guys. Oh, shit. I had so many names. Nick Anderson from the 90s. Um, fuck. I'm forgetting names. Y'all name some Andersons in the comments. I can't rem remember uh, Andersons right now. I'm tripping right now. I'm tripping balls. Good shot, Allen Anderson. Going to work. Whoa. Are we going to win? Are we going to win? Oh, good take, yeah. Good fucking take. Okay. Oh, good shot. Should I give y'all another question? I guess I could think of something to ask y'all because I, I like, I, I really like asking y'all questions because I think it really makes me have a good relationship with you guys. It's, no, okay, not. Y'all guys start getting freaky. You know what I'm talking about? Like a good relationship in the comment section because I feel like I have such a, like a small audience that I could talk to you guys and I, I try to comment on everything and I pretty much do comment on everything unless it's like a hate comment then I just kind of like all right you just being a bitch now like you just gotta stop hating on me so you know go to work we're gonna win we're gonna win we're gonna win we're gonna win this is this is a good day this is a good day not that I hate the Cavs but just the Heat's my team and we're beating the uh, I mean technically they're the best team in basketball since they're the defending champs but. I can say that, right? I can say they're the best team in basketball and not get yelled at. Can I say that? Please. <laughs> they're the defending chance. I'm going to say it. I'm keeping it that way. No, don't come back. No, don't come back. No, no. No, please, please, please. Please, please, please. Wait, what happened? What happened? Wait, no, 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 no. What the fuck was that? I got the, We got the rebound. Oh, he traveled. Shit, yeah, okay. He did. Yeah, white side. You traveled your ass off. Come on. Play some D, play some D, play some D, play some D. Good D, good D, good D, good D, good D. That's it. That's it. We got this. Yep. Dagger. Dagger, Josh. Oh, that was close. That was close. Come on now. Don't choke. That's that LeBron's such a god for knowing that. that that's a, that's amazing court awareness, man. We watched that one play. I remember when Porzin got missed the behind the back pass. If, I know we're talking about the Knicks for some reason, but I, I you know, you just bring it up, whatever. But like, if Porzin God really gets that IQ up, he'll be a god. <laughs> Looks like we're taking this one away, boys. Come on now, just hold on to it. Just hold on to the lead. Hold on to the lead. Oh my God, you guys can't hold on to shit. Oh, it's over. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Pop it. Pop it, Dion. <laughs> I had to. Let's go. Best point guard in the league, my ass. <laughs> Get out of here. Let's go, yo. We beat them twice. First, we beat you in our crib. 
Then we go to y'all crib and spank y'all ass. That's like going to your friend's house and busting them in 2K, and they come into your house and you still bust them in 2K. Like, it just, you just win no matter what. We gotta stop winning though. We need draft picks. We gotta stop with this shit. <laughs> we gotta stop winning though. We, we gotta chill. We gotta. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Wow. Okay, I think we covered a lot about Miami and Cleveland, so that was good to cover. We covered about point guards. That's what I wanted to talk about this video. Um. I think we need to talk about more shooting guards in the future. We don't do much talking about shooting guards to power forwards. I think that's more we need to touch on. I'll definitely be sure to do that when we watch a dominant shooting guard. Like, when we watch the Bulls, we'll definitely talk about it. So, anyway, let's get this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's me, Warren AKY. This is going to come up kind of late compared to my other videos because this literally just came out. So, expect this around, like, 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, honestly. I'm going to be up editing this, getting this out for you guys, you know, just grind, getting this out. So, um, we're almost at 2K. No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm tripping. I'm, we're at 1.2K. We're very far away from 2K. Unless y'all want to get a quick 800 people to slide my way. Slide my way. <laughs> anyway, let's get this video. Hope you guys enjoy this. Be more than I can watch it. I'll see you on the next one. Stay now.